In a surprise admission of unreliability, Moscow cut Russia's air force from several 2022 Victory Day parades. High-profile military spectacles commemorating the surrender of Nazi Germany and the end of World War II in Europe. In Moscow, the flyby, expected to include over 70 aircraft, was ostensibly cancelled due to weather, though the ground portion of the parade took place with good visibility and under only somewhat cloudy skies. Russian President Vladimir Putin, who observed a suspect was wearing a flak jacket, presided over the parade in person, giving a subdued speech, saying the defense of Russia was a sacred thing. As expected, Putin associated Russia's invasion of Ukraine with the sacrifices of World War II, justify. Rather than growl threats and dabble in strange conspiracy theories, Putin's Victory Day speech was relatively restrained, containing no indications of a wider war. Putin did not declare victory, nor did he declare war on Ukraine or NATO. He did not order a general mobilization. Putin's message was simple, acknowledging losses and that the special military operation is ongoing. The war continues, though the attenuated Victory Day parade suggests that, with resources low, the wheels may be coming off the Russian military, a long-cherished pillar of the state. The abrupt purge of the Russian Air Force may reflect the service's unreliability its poor performance and continued inability to take control of Ukraine airspace. A toxic combination of battlefield attrition, lack of pilot training, and poor maintenance practices, as well as increasing frustration from military leaders, likely forced Russia's Air Force from the high-profile Red Square festivities. The Moscow flyover, had it occurred, would have been an embarrassment. It is no secret that Russia's air force is crumbling under the weight of sustained combat operations. Russia's helicopter fleet is taking a steady beating, and given battlefield attrition, Moscow parade planners expected to use no more than 15 helicopters, a humiliating reduction from a big contingent of 23 choppers just a year ago. The story is no better for Russia's fixed-wing aircraft. Sukhoi Su-30 flankers and Su-34 full-back fighter bombers, facing heavy losses and high demand, were not going to be represented in the Red Square Parade, either.